So I was playing my the C64, the uh, joystick top came off. I can hear something rolling around inside there. So I thought I would open this up and see how difficult it is to fix. All right. Looks like just these four screws here. This is the joystick. So it's got some gravity to it. Got uh, weights here in the base. I like that. Make sure you don't lose those screws. All right. It's the part that was. Oh, here it is. Here is what came out. All right. Not gonna do damage. So it looks like it just goes in here. Yep. And this. Drops in right there. That's it. Now I probably should have bought some more Loctite. I don't have any Loctite. It's actually a very clever design. These micro switches here. So you push it either direction. So no springs necessary because it's all done here by the uh, by the switches. I think that's pretty great. All right, so now that actually wasn't so bad at all. I can see how this thing's actually put together. It's actually a really nicely done joystick. I just don't like the shape of it. I mean, it's okay. It's just. I don't know. All right. I'm gonna make sure I do not pinch any of these wires. That's the tricky part right there. I didn't pay attention to how this came out. There's a flat side and a strain relief there. So that hopefully uh, keep that in place. Make sure I don't pinch any of those wires on that post. It doesn't feel like anything's pinched. All right. Now back to uh, playing some very enjoyable, nearly 40-year-old games. Don't tell anybody, but I've actually dropped this joystick several times on the floor. And I don't have carpet floor. So, seems to be holding up fine. It's a nice joystick.